What is up guys, this is Kiran here, welcome back again to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. MIUI Pro at one time was one of the greatest custom rooms out there based on MIUI 12 or one of the best modi rooms out there. But nowadays there are a lot of MIUI 12 modi rooms available like MIUI Javanese and some other things MIUI ROG edition. There are other rooms available which has a lot of customizations than this room. Nowadays, this room does not come with many customizations if you compare it with other rooms, but still, if you are a pro lover, this one is the latest updated ported room for Redmi Note 9S, Note 9 Pro, Poco M2 Pro, and Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. If you're using any of these devices and want to install this build, you can install this directly, installing a room, installing a compatible vendor, and just reboot or format data or whatever else. I'm not going to share with you the installation process because I have no extra time for showing the flashing instructions it's quite easy to install this build i'll try to make a separate video on the installation very very soon until then let's take a look at this miui pro miui 12 base custom room guys this is miui 12 pro latest miui 12 modded miui 12 pro you can say which as you can see miui 12 pro which is Mi Pro 12 20.9.10 by Sudeep Duhan and this one is I'm using Redmi Note 9 Pro here which is based on Android version 10 but the security patch is a little bit of old which is called 1st of September 2020 but has all the latest features also included some little bit of extra features which we already know about the smoothness etc is quite good using it from some time it's quite good but as a Mi 12 device user if you're using any of these devices I will not recommend you to use the controls center so if you open the control center from here and want to check out your control center it's working it's fine but it's not like the other rooms which are available based on MIUI 12 it has some little bit of lags you'll notice after you use this build like this you have the little bit of delay in the animations because of this i don't use the control center in this latest MIUI pro but other things are fine here as you can see i'm using this normal control center the normal quick settings which are working fine here so no issues here you can customize your icons in the status bar in MIUI pro it has has these options also you can customize your network speed indicator and some you know, connection speed color notification icons some little bit of other customization options which include the notification shade shortcuts you can hide the notch we have the show weather options and some little bit of other extra options too and also includes the list animation and list interpolation these are the some features which you get here if you want to talk about all these features there are a lot of features available like the display has these features like the text size and font weight which i already shown you sound and vibration includes some little bit of things which includes a vibrate for calls and vibration when charging and profile video for incoming calls but no extra features if you go for the theme store here theme store is almost same as in the chinese version we already know about that the chinese variant available if you go for the themes we have a lot of themes available like the mars ashes illusion limitless these are some themes which are pre-installed here which you can apply directly from here also you get the import option here we can import the third party themes if you want in your sd card and very easily going for the other things which you have here theme components where you can adjust a lot of things fonts ringtone boot audio boot animation a lot of things are customizable in the theme store so it's quite easy for you to customize your whole theme i've applied the third party theme called elron it's not actually a third party theme but yes it is for some users if you're using a chinese theme store you might get this theme on the theme store but if you don't get here the mtz file link is in the description you can go and download that theme and apply directly on any of your modded mi 12 which has the import option supported now talking about the things which you get here which i already told you i have applied the third party theme things are working fine here using the latest magic v20.4 the safeness status is not passed unfortunately so i'm not able to use the banking apps but in my case paytm and sikta are working fine here so no extra issues available here other things seems to be working here the things which are working wi-fi bluetooth etc everything seems to be working no extra bugs nothing else here you might face some a little bit of bugs depends upon whichever things you use and talking about the battery backup the battery backup is honestly good it's not kind of a bad if you go for the battery and performance and if you go for the power usage i'm using some time the battery backup is good here 11 hours and 35 minutes of standby time charge it for some time 6 hours 45 minutes screen on time it's good it's it's not bad so yes you can easily use this custom room uh, if you want to check out the battery performance and it's good here you can use this build as a full day or you can say approximately of eight to nine hours off screen on time is less one if you use a heavy usage but yes if you use light use 
or if you use less gaming and some things you will see better battery backup than this one maybe 9 to 10 hours approximately other thing seems to be same here no extra things full skin gestures etc working fine here no lags and whatever this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video the link for this build is in the description you can go and install this thanks for watching and goodbye